Here I am at the beginning of my very first ultra. It's the Heisen 57. So behind me are uh, all the 7 o'clock 105 starters, 35k starters, 57k starters. Um, it's been a beautiful morning, beautiful weather. I, yeah, I'm incredibly nervous. I was convinced only a week ago to switch from the 35 to the 57. Um, and We'll see if that was a good decision or not. Go, Brian! Yeah. Thanks for being here. Thanks for coming out today. You all look fabulous. I've done my first five kilometres, and like a total newbie, I went out too fast. Start line adrenaline. My first K was 5.53, which is a little stupid, but it is beautiful out here just beautiful um, people coming up behind me um, loving it so far hey look I found this big I haven't copied her this time <laughs> <laughs> we're about 7.4 in just walking through some stunning farmland up a little hill and feeling a-okay yes. I'm 10k in now we've had a steady uphill for the last 3k um, still Amazingly beautiful farmland. Um, yeah, there's a few people around. A couple behind, a couple in front, but essentially on my own. Hello. Hi. Thank you, course markers. Thank you very much. Hey, I'm 15 kilometers in. Here's the proof. 15 kilometers. Um, climbed a lot of farm styles so far. I think I'm only about 2 or 3k to the next aid station and I know soon there's a 7 kilometer uphill coming. Um, my left knee is playing up a little bit but other than that everything's going really good so far and uh, still having fun, still got a smile on my face. <laughs> Hello! Hey, Hello! Feeling. Good! <laughs> Hi! Yeah. Thank you so Good. much! 20 kilometres in. At the moment it's been 3 kilometres of uphill grind on exposed dirt road. Uh, so I think we've got another 4 kilometres of that to go. Had some coke and uh, watermelon at the aid station. It was really good to see people. Um, yeah catch my breath and keep on 25 kilometers um, we finally gotten off that dirt road and we're in uh, my Ponga conservation park so heading into the scrub really pretty um, my body I think has realized how big today is and I've been feeling super tired <laughs> for the last kilometer um, so a little bit of a slump. Uh, my left hip and glute have been doing their usual thing for about seven kilometers. So. But yeah, um, past a few people, a few more amazing farms, and now I'm into some beautiful, beautiful scrub and a little bit of downhill for a while, which would be very much appreciated. I've hit 30 kilometers. That was a really difficult 5k but the track wasn't really runnable there was scary drops and ankle breaking bits and loose gravel downhills and really crazy steep uphill bits um, so yeah feeling pretty wiped out I know it's gonna be really difficult in 5k when I get to that second aid station knowing that that was my end point if I hadn't swapped my entry but yeah, set of 5k to go, 27k to go. Oh, here she is. Hello. Oh, hello. There she is. Sam, <laughs> <laughs> you, you have to be finishing right how now. How are you feeling? <laughs> but you don't feel like you need to finish right now, do you? Hey, so 35 kilometers. I'm just leaving checkpoint two, which 
I probably stayed in a little bit too long, but it's catching up with people and having nice food and it was really lovely. Um, yeah, kind of needed to be rejuvenated. Uh, so with 35k finishes, um, people doing the 105, we're taking their time. Um, so yeah, past my original finish, I am now, yeah, got a long, long, long way to go. Here is about the billionth style that I've climbed over. Some of them are more like ladders. Some of them are steps like this one. <sighs> Whew, I'm sure I have many more to go. Which way? This way. Thank you again, trail markers. I really needed this one. As it really wasn't clear. <sighs> I'm 40 kilometers in now. Park, which is another area of um, steep uphills and slippery rocky downhills, so not really runnable. I forgot to mention in my Pongo Conservation Park, I did slip and fall on my bum. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a beautiful, quiet 5k. I've only seen two people in the last five kilometers. Um, at the moment, it's just grinding through farmland at tracks like this. Uh, uh, with the cow pats like that and about to approach another little electric fence that I've got to go under but yeah 40k as the Hubert actually ran a little bit short technically I've never done a marathon so I've just done a marathon um, well having said that also my Garmin I forgot to start it at the beginning so I probably didn't press go until about 200 meters in so I'm already in ultra territory um, so I'm in that position of every step now is the longest I've ever taken um, which is really exciting so what have I got uh, just under 15 kilometers to go uh, yeah I'm feeling feeling good at the moment um, and had a little bit of company uh, when I just got lost I just took a wrong turn but thankfully I wasn't the only one so we found ourselves again together don't know if you can see but that's a massive swarm of bees we just skirted around made it to 45 kilometers we managed to get off track again the three of us um, not too far but I don't know we've definitely added some mileage to our 57 um, just passed a dad and his little girl handing out bags of ice so that's been nice I'm rubbing that in my face and drinking ice water because even though it's like a 21 degree day just a lot of exposure a lot of hard packed dirt roads staring back at you and yeah coming warm so that was really lovely 50 kilometers getting to that point where everything hurts <laughs> from my feet to my lower back it's either burning or aching um, Every time I see a trail marker or a high swim marker, I do a little woohoo, jump for joy because it sucked getting lost. I do not want to add any more distance. So I have seven ish Ks to go, but 50. Ooh, that sounds big. Here's me right in the middle of a bee swarm. Yay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> and I'm out without getting sung. Woohoo! 55 kilometers. It has turned into a suffer fest. Uh, there was a photographer at the top of an uphill, and I was too spent to smile in the prettiest valley view, and I was like, I couldn't be bothered stopping taking a photo. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, two Ks to go. Just got to grip my teeth and get it done. Thank you. And thanks for the ice. That was awesome. Hey. I ate a lot of food at the uh, aid station table 
and I don't know how I feel yet. I know when it sinks in properly, I will just feel incredibly proud that I did that. Um, right now, I just feel tired. <laughs> but it was epic and beautiful. And, uh, and thanks, Katie. Thanks. I'm glad I made the switch.